Polite Inquiries, Jared Kimber, George Dobell, Lord. Harsh says, England ended day four against Sri Lanka on 57 for five and managed to take it to almost the end of the day. Uh, look, I love your optimism, Harsh, but... Uh, Can I borrow 100 pounds from you? You know, come on, come on. Ben says, considering Cook looking slightly comfortable against spin, should he bat down the order and open with Ali? You can't hide uh, a test match captain because he's not very good against the new ball. I mean, if he's, if he's in the team... Really, him? Well, you can't do that anymore, can you? I don't think you can. I don't think we can, really. Personally, I think it's time for a rest. Vinay says, was that the best celebration on scoring a 50 ever? Nunchucks or some kind of sword dance or art? No? I remember Ian Botham here, funnily enough. Uh, I was only a boy and he scored 50 and he bowed towards the tavern. I thought that was quite nice because that, that was his bedrock of support, you know, the beer drinkers. I'm not, I'm not positive that I loved this, actually. Sorry to be miserable about it, but you I just... Miserable. Well, I probably... Yeah, I am. We don't. You're, lit sour. you're literally dressed like a politician. I'm just like a, I'm going to a funeral. Desi says, in a scale of 1 to 10, how lovable is Boozy Kuma? 483. He's the little engine that just won't stop doing 50s. They should just give him Man of the Series now and have done with it. Andrew Miller already said that um, he should be given one of the Wisdom Players of the Year awards. I mean, why even stuff around? Take the level book out to him right now. Danny said, England's overrate seem very slow today. Well, that's the least of their worries, you wait, kidding? Wait, wait. Is there any chance at all Cook will be suspended? Where's the sting? Where's the sting? Where is the sting in him being oh. suspended? <laughs> I thought you, it was some sort of weird musical question. That's why they're probably not saying in the dressing room. Should we tell him to hurry up? And they go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Liam says, is this the perfect test cricket pitch? It's pretty good. I don't want to be it's really really, critical. really good. No, it's pretty Really good. good. No, I don't think it is because really. there's uneven bounce. That's what, that's what it's good. That's no, what it's, because it's, that, it should have that. No, because that brings an element of lottery, of fortune into it. The, the idea is the pitch will crumble and we'll get harder to bounce. It will at deteriorate, the end. Yeah. but it, to deteriorate, it should maybe just help seam or spin. But look, opinions vary. It's been very entertaining. And he said, could Murali Vijay be ranked amongst the best openers in world cricket at the moment? There, there's obviously, oh, you know, we wish he would have got 100 at Lords, that sort of mentality. But his innings has pretty much set India up to hopefully win this test. There were ridiculous people saying he should get on with it during the early stage of his innings. It's been a match to find in innings, so he's done brilliantly. Yeah. Too slow, though. I agree with those people. Matthew Wright says, how is it that England have made Sharma look like Glenn McGrath? Well, he actually looks more like Jason Gillespie, let's be fair. But he's an amalgam of the two of them and not as good as either. He can bowl rubbish, but he's not a rubbish bowler. He has the tools, when he gets it right, to be a top-class international wicket-taking bowler. It's just he doesn't get it right that much. And he's constantly unlucky. Pits and have you pit. noticed how quite a lot of... It used to be this way when I was growing up. Quite a lot of players who, you know, they're, they're pretty good players, but they're not great, have their career best performances against England. It's almost like when you go through the record books, you think, yeah, but that was against Zimbabwe. That was against England. Uh, it's, it's going a bit that way, isn't it? David Porter says, given how little the senior players have contributed, should England drop Cook, Bell, Pryor, Anderson and Broad? Anderson was man of the match, probably wrongly, in the last test. I would drop Anderson. I've never said that before. Never thought it before. Whoa! I would drop Anderson. And he's an attack leader. And he came out after lunch when the wickets on this t uh, in this pitch have generally come from bowling length, maybe even full. And he bowled a spell that contained 83% short balls. Would you and it was his anger and his petulance, such a danger, that caused him to do it. And he has to realise that this is a team game and it's not about settling personal scores. And if he can't control his temper, go back to Lancashire for a bit, calm down. Centil says, having lost the way from better positions in the last year, can Indian fans afford to sleep in peace? No. Because these are two teams that the one thing that they've done really well recently is lose. Yeah, they've been consistent. Do you know what I mean? So you can understand why no Indian fan would be comfortable with this. In fact, I would think Indian fans would prefer to be in the situation where their team has little chance of winning. England fans are in the better situation because they've already dealt with this loss. Andy says, does Fabrice saying that they have no concerns about the senior players mean he's deluded, drunk or lying? So he's just been in the press conference and, um, and he said, that the main thing was that England's senior players were contributing around the dressing room. How could, how could someone not just stand up and hit him with a fish when someone says something that's stupid? We didn't have any fish to, uh, on us. Wow. We very rarely take fish to press conferences. We all looked, but none of us had one. I think you'd be better 
to be honest and say, yes, the senior players are really struggling. It's a concern. You that can, would have been disarmingly honest, wouldn't it? You can it? never work for a cricket board. A, you want to drop someone and not rest them, and now you want people to be honest. I don't think you understand cricket at all. Tom Banner says... What does Tom Banner say? <laughs> Is Jack Shantry the answer to England's slow bowling problem? Jack Shantry would have utilised these the conditions of the first morning much better than England did. And these conditions right now. There's nothing he can't do. You said, which is more iconic, the Jared Kimber hat or the George Dobell jacket? We should release them in a blazer badge combination, a cat pack. Neil says, I bought a pork pie home from the pub last night and left it in a bag all Is that night. a euphemism? Should I chuck it away? Don't talk about girls like that. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.